Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday, it is Friday so it is weigh in day. I had quite the week, so I'm going to be sharing with you how my week went. We'll talk all about this week's WW workshop topic, spoiler alert, it's a good one. And of course I'll share this week's weigh in. So if you're excited, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And of course I appreciate it and subscribe. If you're not, I would love, love, love to have you here. I do a weigh in every Friday and I upload five days a week. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you need extra support or want to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to all of my favorite healthy things. And lastly, come on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into my week, the workshop topic, and my weigh-in. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. Like I said, I had quite the week. If you missed my Wednesdays, what I eat in a day, I actually traveled back down to Arizona. I gave an entire update as to why I was back one and a half weeks later. It was quite the experience and I vlogged my entire trip and what I ate and kind of showed you how you can travel and stay on track. So I'll make sure that that video is linked down below. So I flew out on Sunday, came back on Monday, really late, like midnight on Monday. So it was just a whirlwind of the be of a beginning of the week and the week continued to be extremely busy. We are less than two weeks out from our move to Arizona. So it's a mad dash to pack, get everything done, make all the phone calls to change addresses and close accounts here and open accounts there. It's just been quite the whirlwind. I did go ahead and do my closet clean out, so stay tuned on Sunday for that video. I know a lot of you are excited to see what I got rid of. I tried on a bunch of my clothes in that video so you can see how things are fitting or not fitting. So definitely stay tuned for Sunday. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you don't miss the video. I was able to stay on track all week. I didn't get in a lot of exercise this week, or should I say intentional exercise? I got in a lot of steps on my trip. I actually closed out my rings on my Apple watch every single day. And I've been getting a lot of activity and steps at home, just packing and preparing to move. We're just really busy right now. And not that I can't make time to go to the gym. I'm just not making time to go to the gym because I have so much on my plate. But overall, I feel like I had a great week. I stayed on track with my food. And as I always say, weight loss starts in the kitchen, fitness starts in the gym. And if you just focus on food, you're going to see success. And that's kind of what I did this last week. Before I jump into my way in for the week, I want to talk with you guys about this week's WW workshop topic, and this is how to make healthier choices easier. A lot of times choosing the healthier choice isn't the most convenient and it's certainly not the easiest option. As human beings, we like to follow the path of least resistance. Whatever gets us what we need the fastest is what we naturally do as humans. So this can really play a part in our food choices as well. We can easily stray off track when we're busy or when it's inconvenient for us to plan or prepare meals or when we're out and about, it's easier to just pick up fast food than it is to plan ahead a little bit. But what if the easier choice or the most convenient choice just isn't the best choice. Instead of focusing on food choices, although this definitely plays a part in that as well, like I mentioned, when we're inconvenienced or out and about or we didn't plan ahead, we can make unhealthy food choices. But I want to talk a little bit about behavior choices because mindset and behavior is a bigger part to overall weight loss success and weight maintenance than even the foods that we're choosing. So when it comes to behavior, think about an unwanted behavior that you have. What is something that you do on a regular basis that just doesn't serve you or maybe isn't the best use of your time? So for example, what about laying in your bed at night before you fall asleep and just mindlessly scrolling on your phone? That could actually be an unwanted unhelpful behavior. So instead of mindlessly scrolling on your phone, what is your wanted behavior? What should you be doing or what do you want to be doing instead? Maybe that's finishing that book that's sitting on your nightstand. And maybe your phone is plugged in across the room so you're not tempted to pick it up and mindlessly scroll. We're talking about bedtime behaviors here, but this can apply to 
any behavior, whether it be mindset, routine behavior, or even our behavior when it comes to the foods that we're eating. We all have behaviors or activities or choices that are unwanted or things that maybe just don't serve us when it comes to our weight loss journey. So think about a behavior that you would like to stop. Pinpoint the environment and how it makes that behavior easy for you. Kind of back to the whole bedtime routine. It's easier to lay there and scroll on your phone, but really you should finish that really good book on your nightstand. And by putting your phone across the room, it's less tempting and less convenient. And remember, we follow the path of least resistance. It's very unlikely that we're going to get out of our comfortable warm bed to go pick up our phone across the room. We're more likely to grab that book on our nightstand. And lastly, brainstorm a way to make this unwanted behavior harder for you, less convenient for you. So I really, really like this topic. I know for me, I'll choose the easier path. I'll choose what is more convenient for me because we're busy. We leave very busy lives that it's hard for us to do things that are harder and easier for us to do things based on convenience. So again, think about a behavior that you'd like to stop. Follow these steps to introduce a more wanted beneficial behavior for not only your mental health, your physical health, and of course your weight loss. So now let's jump in to my weigh-in for the week. Like I mentioned, I traveled the beginning of this week and we know, I know that sometimes traveling cannot benefit us when it comes to the foods that we're eating, but also travel blow is a real thing. It is a real, thing. I feel like I'm always heavier coming back from vacation, whether I made healthier choices or not. I think it's a mix of the foods that we're eating, maybe not getting in as much water, and of course traveling or flying can really play a part in our overall weight loss. Lucky for me, I was able to get back on Monday and really have the rest of the week to recover from my trip. Even though I stayed on track, even though I made good food choices, I still felt a little bit heavier coming home. So I just waited a few days to step on the scale. So when I jumped on the scale this morning, to my pleasant surprise, I am down an additional 1.4 pounds. I will go ahead and put my overall weight loss here on the screen for you. If you didn't miss last week's weigh-in, I hit 90 pounds down, which was a huge goal for me. That's kind of what led to the closet clean out. And I am well on my way now to reaching my big picture goal, which is 100 pounds lost. That is so crazy to me, you guys, a hundred pounds loss. And it's inching me closer and closer to my overall weight loss goal. So now I wanna hear from you guys. How was your week? What did you think of this week's workshop topic? And share maybe some of your unwanted behaviors down in the comments so we can share with the community what's unwanted and how we're going to correct that. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a weigh-in every single Friday and I do upload five days a week. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, take a moment, join our Facebook group. It's a great community and we'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Friday friends. And I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.